This video is brought to you by NCIX.com. Great technology, selection, and service. Hey guys, Eba here with Hardware Connects, and Chromebooks are meant to serve as a portable, affordable solution for students and professionals who spend most of their productive time on the web. We have Acer today taking a slightly different approach with the Chromebook 15, a 15 inch notebook that starts at $300, and it is meant for a more stationary use as an alternative to a more portable 13 inch that we reviewed recently. The main question still remains, is there a place for a 15 inch Chromebook? Let's find out. At five pounds, the Chromebook feels appropriate for the size, and while it's not ideal for on the go, it's much better suited for spending more time on the desk. The slim profile should fit backpacks, no problem, and the build is acceptable. And by that, I mean the premium plastic material throughout the chassis feels solid. The front and bottom parts of the Chromebook have these fabric textured finish that looks and feels great. Seriously, for $300, this has surpassed my expectations. Also, do note that the Chromebook 15 comes in a black variant. Uh, the white sample we had did show signs of stain after some use. Our model here comes with a 5th gen dual core Celeron CPU clocked at 1.5GHz, 4GB of RAM and a 16GB SSD. A 32GB model is available and while it is still limiting, Acer includes a free access to 100GB of Google Drive for 2 years to compensate. On the right side of the Chromebook we have a Kensington lock, USB 2.0 port and a card reader. Switching over to the left we find an HDMI port, a USB 3.0 port along with the headphone microphone combo jack and on the front, there is an exhaust vent to cool the Chromebook 15. The 15.6 inch 1920x1080 display is a pleasure to look at. It's an IPS panel with great viewing angles and contrast ratio. The colors did look a little oversaturated, but it is nothing to be worried about. For $300, this is perfect for watching movies with your friends and family, and the screen frame on the Chromebook maintains that excellent structural integrity. There's also an option to change the resolution all the way up to 2160 by 1215, which gives you more screen real estate, but the text doesn't look sharper compared to 1080p, and we aren't even sure why there's an option in the first place. A 720p webcam is fine for video chat, and I have no complaints there. The keyboard layout is pretty standard for a Chromebook. The only difference compared to the regular keyboards is the replacement of the caps lock button with a Google search button, which comes in handy for quick Google searches. You could swap it for a caps lock function, so that's nice to see. The function keys are replaced with a set of shortcuts like return, forward, refresh page, maximize your window, a multitask button that explodes your open apps, but you can also use the four finger swipe on the touchpad. There are also brightness and volume controls. Typing on the Chromebook 15 was a pleasure. The tactile response on the keys was excellent, but the keys are made out of some cheap plastic material, which isn't too bad, uh, but if you heavily rely on the Chromebook for a lot of correspondence like email, schoolwork, Google Docs, etc., uh, it'll get the job done. The touchpad is okay. Some of the things I like about it is the touch surface which is smooth, and the responsiveness is on point. However, the zoom functionality was missing and the primary left and right buttons required a tiny bit of pressure to press and I wasn't satisfied with the tactile response of these buttons. Performance in the Chromebook 15 is satisfactory thanks to the 64-bit dual-core Intel CPU with 4GB of RAM. This machine can easily handle multiple tabs without any hiccups. There's still some struggle with 4K video playback, however, Acer makes it up with an outstanding wireless performance thanks to the dual-band AC wireless adapter. The battery life on the Chromebook 15 is moderate with its 5 hours and 4 minutes in a heavy usage scenario with video playback and surfing the web. The full recharge time is a little slow, taking up about 2 hours to 100%. Moving on to the speakers, they are simply amazing. By far one of the most impressive at this price point. The two speaker grills are perfectly placed beside the keyboard for the best sound projection. They do get loud, I mean really loud. It's perfect for watching movies, listening to Spotify, and much more. Take a listen for yourselves. Chrome OS is a unique operating system that's targeted towards users who rely on getting work done on the web. The whole UI is based off Google Chrome's web browser and Google Docs, 
where you can create, edit, and share documents with your friends and coworkers. It's simple and very easy to use. If you're interested in checking out Chrome OS for the first time, I will guarantee you, you'll find your way through the operating system right away. It boots up super fast, there's a growing number of apps for offline work, and the OS is evolving to become a proper productivity tool. And Acer here has created an excellent all one package for $300. With a solid build, fine IPS 1080p display, fast performance along with those exceptionally loud speakers. If you don't mind the 15 inch form factor, it's actually a pretty good machine and we're giving it the Harakanux Damn Good Value Award. Let us know your thoughts on the Chromebook 15. Is it something that you would consider checking out? Give us a like if you'd want us to compare it against the Chromebook 11 and 13. Don't forget to subscribe for more similar content and we'll see you in the next one.